Good morning. Happy Thursday. It is officially December and uh, we are live. Uh, my name is Matt, if you don't know me. Uh, I am uh, coming to you live uh, in the eastern time zone. I'm us usually in Phoenix, but we are live out here at uh, the legendary mastermind. So I decided to, um, <clears throat> there's a little golf match going on. They've got the, oh, by the way. We got the they got the beverage cart out there already 10 a.m hitting it hard uh and uh we're live with another awesome guest i'm excited to bring them to you if this is your first time or if you're tuning in and you're like hey i've never seen this show before uh let us know <clears throat> in the in the comment section uh where you're tuning in from and uh, it's always fun to see where people are tuning in from let's bring on our guest for the day i'm excited to get to know uh caroline caroline how are you good how are you Good. I'm doing well. Uh, still adjusting time zone. So it's a little earlier where I'm from in Phoenix. So I'm uh, now into a different time zone. So anyway, it's a little earlier, but I'm doing great. How are you? How's, uh, how's your morning, I guess? Yeah, it's good. It's been busy. Um, just got my toddler off to school. I'm also like very pregnant. So <laughs> that's fine. Well, congrats. That heartburn. Thank you. Thank Is you. Is it your second? It's my second. Yeah, I'm due Christmas Eve of all days. So <laughs> wow. congrats. Yeah. That's super cool. Thanks. Uh, tell us a little bit about you and uh, how you found Legendary. And you've got like, you know, you're, you have a full time job or at least did at the time that you filled out our questionnaire. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about your, your work and how you found Legendary. And, um, and then we'll get into your insane growth on social media and talk through that. Okay, cool. Yeah, um, I've been a mental health counselor for some time. Um, before that, I was a bartender. Before that, I worked with kids with special needs. Um, so I've always kind of been in like the helping people kind of business, I guess, with their drinks too. Um, but I found Legendary when I was looking for a way to make money online. Um, my, like I said, I have a, a son already. He's three. He's in daycare. And um, with this next baby coming, I was like, I'm missing the milestones. I'm I'm missing out on their life. So how can I, how can I make money online, like sizable money online? Because I'm, I'm not super tech savvy at all. And I just like I didn't know if it was real, if it was legit, if there was actually ways to do it. And then I come across this Facebook reel, um, of this girl saying that she can make like ten thousand dollars a month doing affiliate marketing. And I was like. Yes, you know, like no way. And then I watched the whole video and you know how the algorithm is. So it's like, I keep seeing these videos yep. and um, I'm like, let me see what this is about. So I click on her link, get her ebook, do the whole thing. And then I see Dave's video and I was just like, I remember it was like, I don't know, it was like midnight here. And yeah. I was watching this like 20 minute video and I'm like, I need to go to bed. But it was <laughs> so, um, it just like captured me. And I was like, I need to learn more about this. I gotta put this on hold. So I did. So I put it on hold for a few days and then I went back to it. I watched it and then I was such a skeptic. I was like, I'm not paying for this $7 training. Like I'm not doing it. And then eventually I did. And then everything just changed from there. I got the, the training and I was like, wow, there's so much I don't know about making money online. There's so much I don't know about this, this whole world of affiliate marketing and online businesses. Um, so I kind of just like took it upon myself to research as much as I could. Um, I'm a graduate student, so research is like my thing. And I saw that this was like a real legit thing. So I was like, cool. all right, I'm going to, I'm going to hit this hard and try and do really well with it. Like this girl is like, if she can, why can't I? So, um, so I started taking it serious and following the, the, uh, the training to a T I've seen plenty of your videos. Um, watched a bunch of like TikTok growth videos, just trying to be as educated as I could before I started like really hitting it hard. But it's been, it's been really successful so far and it's only been a little over a month. So it's wild. Yeah. It's Super crazy. cool. And how long ago, it's been a month since you've really started to like build. How mm -hmm. long ago did you find us and purchase that training? It must've been, it must've been at the end of, September because I remember I didn't even have TikTok on my phone but I downloaded <laughs> it and I was like I don't know how people make these videos so I made like my first two videos I think they're posted like November or September like 15th 
So I just put them out there just to see. And I remember I checked back a week later and they actually had views. I'm like, this is weird. And then um, the 15th of October, like a month later, is when I started posting like consistently. Um, so I must have discovered you guys, like, yeah, like mid-September. And then um, and then it's really started hitting it hard like a month later. Wow. So cool. Mm -hmm. So you go into the training. You're um, – uh, yeah, my my uh, my wife is also a mental health uh, counselor therapist, nice. and uh, so you know, in the same spirit that I might say to uh, a veteran or or a first responder, "Thanks for your service," I'll say, "Thanks for your service," because there's a big uh, there's a big lack of um, there's a big need for um, therapists, especially after the, the pandemic and everything. Oh, but yeah. um, you're a grad student, so mm -hmm. you know um, you're thoughtful in the way that you look at. Um, something like this, you're mm -hmm. thoughtful in the way that you do research and think through um, mm -hmm. whatever it is that you're going to do. You also, you know, outside of that and being a grad student, you also uh, <laughs> have uh, one kid and one on the way. So it's not as if time is sort of this abundance. Oh, I could just try this or I could just try that. Like I've got all the time in the world, you know, you've got right. all kinds of shit going on. So as you're as you're doing that research and as you're starting the challenge, um, what did you think about learning in this style? Like learning, first of all, in in sort of an online style that's not traditional. It's not a sit down lecture course like mm -hmm. I've done online courses before in college. And you know, you sit down. There's a lecture. There's maybe a little forum or a message board or something. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think about learning in that style? I'm just curious. Um, I mean, honestly, the training was, I'm very impressed with the training. I've been an online student. Um, I did my undergrad as an online student and my master's as an, as, a, as an online student. So having that experience and then seeing how this was ran, you would think that like, like more schools should be ran in the way like this is, it's mm -hmm. like nuggets of information. Um, it's understandable. It's, it's, you know, self-paced. Um, I really, really enjoyed the training. I, cool. I was just telling my um, my mother in law the other day, like just how much you get with this seven dollar training, like how valuable it is. Even if you did nothing with it, like just to, I don't know, maybe because I'm new to the online space, but it blew my mind. Like the stuff that I was learning from this training. Cool. Like there's so much I didn't know about making money online, and then this training was just like. Yeah, just very, very eye opening in a lot of ways. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think, you know, for me, uh, that's refreshing to hear because, um, not because, you know, I love to hear people rant and rave about legendary. Uh, that's awesome too. But also just, it's refreshing for me to remember um, that, you know, cre having that, having that mental shift and discovery that, Oh my God, I can make money online. I can make money on the internet. That's, that's such a pivotal, like a pivotal, um, like moment in somebody's life where they see that clearly. And then they see themselves clearly in it where yeah. they're like, it's not just that people are making money on the internet. Yes. We all know about only fans, you know, it's <laughs> like, yes, there are people who make money on the internet, but also there's, um, there's the moment where you make the connection of of here's this way to make money on the internet and then here's how it actually could fit for me and that's such a cool thing to hear um yeah. and it's cool that it's still fr so fresh on your mind that's really sweet yeah i mean i that has been something that i was not expecting mm -hmm. was this huge boost of like confidence and like empowerment within myself to learn something completely new and to see it be profitable. Like, cool. it, I don't know, there's something, something else about that. I feel different, like as a person, like I feel like I could accomplish anything. Like this was so foreign to me, hmm. so incredibly foreign to me. I knew nothing. And to, to see like what I've done in a month is just like, yeah, it's really, really empowering. It really is. Wow. Super cool. What's the, um, what's the, Tell me about starting TikTok. Very curious about getting, you didn't even have the app, which is crazy. Uh, yeah. 
All my crazy friends. Cool. Like crazy cool. Yeah, no, I, I had to drag I had to drag my wife on TikTok. Yeah. Um, but tell me a little bit about getting started on TikTok, because you didn't even have it more or less. I actually, like you weren't a content creator or a professional content creator before this. <laughs> a little bit about um, starting your TikTok channel. What hurdles did you have and how did that go? Because that's a new experience. Everything everything here is new for you, but that mm -hmm. especially is a new experience. Yeah. Um, I don't even have, I think I have like 200 followers on my personal like Instagram. All my Facebook friends are like, you know, people from high school and so I didn't really do the whole like social media thing um so it was definitely a learning curve especially with TikTok and making these videos and the music and making things sync but it was fun to learn and I'm a very um kind of like outgoing and personal person as it is um I like to dance and be crazy and stuff so cool. uh, I felt not instantly comfortable in front of like the camera, like my first few videos were pretty awkward and cringy, but um, as time has like passed, I'm just like, I don't really care. Like, <laughs> I'm just gonna have fun with this. And then like, I get the views, so so that's pretty cool. Um, but it was a learning curve to just kind of see how the app itself worked. Um, and then like, there's a lot of resources out there. So if I can do it without having any experience, like, I feel like no one has an excuse to be like, oh, I don't know how to use TikTok or I don't know on social media or like I'm not tech savvy. Like you can learn all those things like I did. But it's just a matter of like how bad you want it. And I looked at it like a business opportunity versus like, let me grow on social media and be a content creator. I was looking at this like this is a business. So I need to take it seriously, give it my all, get all the information that I can to like really hit this hard um, versus just kind of like showing up and being like, hey. you know, like, I don't know. I took it, I took it more serious. It wasn't like, uh, let's just make little videos of me dancing <laughs> around and doing stuff. I was like, let's, let's get this popping. Cool. I love that. I had a, I had a good, that reminds me, I had a good mentor of mine when I first got started who always described, you know, the people who eventually became successful, they take the business that way as a business, mm -hmm. but also, they take every detail of the business and they obsess over it. So whether it's content, whether it's uh, email marketing, whether it's um, the actual business model itself, having a business plan, they obsess over every detail to the point where it's like they're going to master one piece, move on to the next piece, master mm -hmm. the next piece. And I, I just think that's that's a yeah, it's kind of a how bad do you want it kind of thing. And that's cool to hear. Because it is really true. Um, even even after you get sort of a, a first initial business plan, like, hey, here's some business models that are high profit business models. Um, even after you get that, there is a, a massive element. Well, tell me if you agree. I think there's a massive element to this business that's literally just like, you have to just figure it out. Like, there's problems all over the place. It's nonstop problem solving. And you have to learn to figure those out. Yep. Yep. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Every it seemed like every step of the way there would be some sort of like glitch, whether that was like a click funnels thing or an Aweber thing or um, just kind of like I, literally that every every step of the way um, there was a hiccup. But <laughs> but every time there was a hiccup, I figured it out. And again, I got that like rush of like, I can do anything. It's very empowering. Like to it's to me, it's always been like, it's better to learn something on your own. Like if you try and try and try to figure it out and you're just completely lost, you can't do it. Then like, yeah, make a phone call, reach out to someone. But like, there's so much, there's so much in like learning something yourself and not having to ask, you know? So um, that's been something that I've, I've gained a lot of confidence through is figuring things out on my own and, yeah. um, you know, reaching out when I, when I absolutely need to, but, you know, I get messages, DMs from people all the time, like, can you help me? And I'm like, well, did you try? Like, did you start? Did you even open the, the link that shows you everything? Um, so you, it's definitely, you have to be, you gotta be disciplined. You gotta be a go-getter. You want, you gotta want this in, in the way that, 
in the way that, you know, you can be successful with it. Because you could do like this as like, you know, like a side hustle thing. But if you're trying to quit your nine to five, if you're trying to make thousands of dollars with this, which is 100% possible, um, you got to you gotta have a different mindset about it. So I think I started that from the get go with the, the girl that I was following. Um, but I think that part gets missed. That it's just like a little social media thing because it's not. It's a business. Yeah, that's a big, big gold nugget. That's mm-hmm. really big. Um, when you uh, you went in, how what was the span of time you went from zero to like you're at something like ninety thousand followers now? What was that span of time? Um, well, like I said, I posted my first video in September, but I don't have any followers. I had views, but no followers. And then I started posting. Um, in October, at the end of October. And I remember having like, it would screenshot and I got a new phone. So it's probably my iCloud somewhere, but um, yeah. I'd have like 24 followers. And then it, I, I just kept going. I remember one of my, one of my videos had like 6,000 views or something. And I was like, whoa, like that's wild. And then like, I started getting followers from that. And then I had this like one video that just like blew up like I think it's got like next to 4 million views now. And so that really helped, but it took, it was like a month. It took a month to go from like zero to 70,000. And now it's just like, every time I go on the app, it's, it's insane how many more followers there are. So yeah, it's at like 90,000 now. And I haven't like, I haven't really touched it. (laughs) It's crazy. (laughs) That's cool. And do you, do you go live? Do you just post videos? What do you do on the, on the TikTok? I, I could be doing a lot better. You just post post videos? I just post videos. I need to go live. It's just kind of been like a, Hmm. like a, not an inconvenience, but I have a lot going on, you know? So I keep thinking like, Oh, I need to go live. I need to go live. I need to like connect with these people. I do comment a lot back. Um, Mm -hmm. I'll message people, talk to people on Instagram, on email, um, so I'm very like, um, big on the engagement side of it, but I definitely, I know that I need to go live. Um, I just started posting like stories and stuff. Like it's still really new to me. I'm just like doing what has worked, but now I'm realizing that I need to like branch out in different ways with, with kind of my content. No, you're killing it. You're killing it. You're killing Thanks. it. Um, that's, that's a massive accomplishment. And, um, yeah, I mean, other e- each, I mean, geez, you just started like, you know, in September. So, you know, take mm-hmm. it, you know, yeah, it seems like you don't take it very easy on yourself. Not that you beat yourself up, but you're like, you're pretty like, here we go. Like if I'm going to do going. something and commit to it, I'm going to do it like a hundred percent. And I'm, I'm going to try and be like the best at it. That's just kind of how I am with stuff. Not in like any cocky way, but that like, it's how I was raised. If you're going to do something like do it right. Yeah. So that's why I went full throttle with this. I was like, I'm not holding back. I'm not going to be shy. I'm just going to be myself and see where this goes. And it's paid off, you know? Yeah, totally has. Totally has. Yeah. In just a couple months, you've got a profitable business you're running. Super cool. And mm-hmm. uh, you've also got a massive social media following. The only reason I asked about live is just because sometimes when people get, you know, 90,000 followers, um, they underestimate what they can do with those followers. So, um, sometimes when there's massive growth on channels like that, um, uh, people underestimate just how much pull they can have with that. So for instance, um, there's been other people we've interviewed on these, on these lives, or I'm just thinking about other people that I know that have big followings and stuff like that too, um, where, uh, they, they make a few thousand dollars from their pretty big following each month. And then the transformation happens where they start to go live. And also um, they they blend in a bunch more kind of storytelling type stuff with it. But mm-hmm. I'll say this, uh, when they start going live, it's it's pretty amazing what happens uh, as long as their con- the, the live is congruent with their content. Mm-hmm. So similar stuff so that people who follow them. When you go live, they're like, oh, I actually want to see this. This is cool. This is what I followed this person for. Um, that That's a big transition moment from 2,000, 5,000 a month to 10, 20, 30,000, like, like almost like unfathomable 
income online. I see that a lot with the lives and um, <laughs> anyway, just, just that, that's a, that's a big stage and step. And it seems like you're, you know, it's not super common that we get somebody on here uh, who has that big of a following and, um, and also sort of has the charisma that you have that, you know, it seems like you can come online and just, you could, you could go on a live and just speak to people pretty easily. Um, so anyway, I would just encourage you to try it out just cause it's, um, it's, it's honestly, it's pretty fun, but it's, uh, if, if you have a connectable, if, if you are attachable or connectable, um, it, it can be really, uh, life, life changing income can come from that, but also like even just aside from like life changing income, it, it can also be a great way. Uh, I feel like for people to grow and change themselves and help other people sort of grow and change. Cause that's really all we have is in life is, um, I'm speaking to a therapist, but it, <laughs> we have connection, you know, we have connection yeah. and attachment and that's, yeah. and it's, it, that's a great way to also bring that in and work that into life and stuff too. So. Yeah, you're hundred percent right. I mean, I'm taking all of this in, you know, um, <laughs> any feedback that I get, I'm like writing it down. Like I have like a, you know, a notebook full of, of stuff um, that I'm learning, but I need to, I know I need to get on the lives and, and cause people have been like, are you even a real person? And I'm like, I'll send a lot of like voice messages back and stuff. Um, and I'm like, yeah, I'm here. I'm real. Like I don't have time to scam people. <laughs> um, but I think, yeah, there'd be more of like sure. a personal connection. I know what I've watched lives in the past too. I'm like, okay, I, I'm, my buy-in is there because this is a real person talking to me now with no bullshit. So totally. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you are, I wanted to point out this little con Colton's been around our community for a while, but, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm encouraging you to do the lives, but I also want to point out that you're also already doing what I was just talking about. You're already having an impact. You don't even know it maybe, but, um, you know, Colton's Colton just said, Caroline's the reason that I have a 2.1 million viewed video. Um, so uh, there's people out there watching, learning from you, emulating, um, discovering how to create content, discovering how to get a lot of views, discovering how to go viral, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, you're already doing that. <laughs> that is wild. That's crazy. It's I'm crazy, also right? hormonal and pregnant. So I'm like, <laughs> oh my gosh, that's really cool. <laughs> I've never imagined this for myself. It's really, really cool. Cool. It's awesome to be able to help people with it. It's yeah. Like that's, it's super cool when you so you're on uh tiktok and instagram are you reposting to other places are you just mm -hmm. posting to those two no i'm i just started posting to uh facebook okay. probably like again i'll be like well, i need to post here and i'll post like a video and i'm like oh shit like i, I should post again and it'll be like a week later so it's that's been cool. one of those things but i started a group probably like a week week and a half ago and started consistently posting to the Facebook and that's taking off. Yesterday I had uh, 1,200 followers on my like page and I was like, okay, that's good. This morning I have like 14,000. So it's like, is it, is it like a fan page, a business page? Yeah. It's so like I had, business. I had like my regular profile and then I opened like a page. I don't know if that was another way to do it, but I was like, let's. No, try. it's that's good. We just uh, over the last like year or so, we've had people who have said they aren't able to experience that kind of growth on their pages, only on mm -hmm. their profiles. So I'm happy. I'm super happy to hear that that's happening on your page. Um, well, I, I tried to create a new profile, but for some reason it wouldn't let me. I don't know if it was because like my Instagram was linked. I don't know what was going on. So I'm in like, you know, groups and stuff. So I'm like, how do I do this? And some people are like, oh, I created a page. So I was like, all right, I'll do that. So I did that under my main one. And it's just like taking off. It's wild. It's so oh, crazy. Like, so it, cool. it seems like TikTok-ish. Like I'll post a video and then like, you know, 15 minutes, it's got like a few hundred views already and i'm like who's watching me like it's it's wild it's crazy yeah i mean alert to everybody alert like <laughs> that's a big gold nugget right there because i caroline i knew that was going to happen because i had read something a few months ago that facebook was changing their algorithm mm. so that uh fan pages would grow faster because mm. they're trying to find any way possible to get content creators back on their platform because tiktok and youtube and uh, Instagram all took off. Yeah. And so people weren't spending as much time building their business on Facebook. Right. So 
what's the obvious way to do that? Well, let's create reels where people can grow huge audiences. Mm -hmm. And so if that's happening on your page, that's awesome. And I also want to point out like, and give you a little shout out that, you know, just you skipped over it, but the problem solving technique you have there of just like, well, all right, I guess I'll create a second profile. Oh, that didn't work. Okay. I'm going to go find my community, find a community who can help me. And then I'm going to, I'm going to solve this problem that way. So kudos to you mm -hmm. on that. That's super cool. Thanks. Yeah. It's just been, I'm just taking it as it comes. Everything has been like a learning you're curve. Just, so. You're just, you're just, you're just like, I don't know what's going on. It, it's crazy. <laughs> it, I don't know what the hell I'm doing half the time, but like I figure it out until I do and then it works and I'm like, sweet, what's next? You know? I love it. That was cool. Super cool. Yeah. Well, so for people who are who are here, um, who are new, who are like, well, I could never get 90,000 followers. Well, I could never get 14,000 followers. I could never, you know, like, and it, they might not be saying it out loud, but it's that secret sort of voice inside that's that's always told, you know, you're not good enough. You're not, you know, mm -hmm. you're not worth it. You're not actually going to make it. Like, mm -hmm. What would you say to those people? Or, I mean, you talk, you, you probably speak to that a lot in, in your career and job and work, but <laughs> what would you say to, to, to this entrepreneurial version of that? Mm -hmm. Well, the first thing that comes to my mind as a therapist is literally like, whose voice is that? Mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of the time it goes back to like, you know, childhood stuff. Like, were you told that you weren't good enough or like your success was only measured? Um, you know, if you achieved this and that, like, whose voice is actually inside of your head telling you that you can't do these things? Because as far as you know, I'm concerned, our feet are on the ground here. You don't know if you can grow a huge following because you haven't tried. But if you have the mentality that like, I'll never do it, then yeah, you'll never do it. It's, it's plain and simple. It depends how bad you want this. If I can do it having no experience, and I get like, you know, people have been like, oh, you're young, you're pretty, you're this, you're that, you're relatable. But like, there's so many more people out there that are you know older people that are that are so successful with this um that have like you know that are just relatable people and yeah. those people are growing really fast too so it's like if you put yourself in a box of like i can't do something because it's new then you're never you're never going to change it unfortunately you're gonna that's going to be your life story that i just never tried because i thought i wasn't good enough but yeah so i would challenge those people to say like well what if what what like what do you what do you have to lose? You have everything to gain. Like if you could if you could quit your job, if you could make this kind of money a month, if you could travel, if you could be home with your family, be there for the milestones, like and actually live a life like we're intended to do, like that is is so valuable. Like why not take a chance? Hmm. It's like you know the training I did was seven dollars. Like I said, even if I did nothing with it that taught me so much and it taught me a lot about myself that I didn't even know. Like, you know, it, it's, it's wild what you guys have put into that course. Like mm -hmm. it was a life changing thing for me. And um, I say that all the time and people probably think I'm like, you know, exaggerating or like, but it, it has been, it's been life changing. Um, just the knowledge itself and how I feel about myself um, on top of like, you know, the income and stuff like that, which is, which is growing by the day um it's just like it's insane so i would i would strongly encourage anyone watching that thinks that you know they could never do it and you know they could never learn these things who wants to follow them like just tell that voice to like to shut up <laughs> take a back seat and try if you try and like it's unsuccessful or you see you don't like it or whatever like okay cool like that's fine maybe it's not for everybody um, you know, and then that's fine too, but at least try because it yep. could change your life. Like it has mine, you know, Jeez. it's crazy. I love, <laughs> I love it. I feel inspired. I feel pumped <laughs> up. This is so cool. It is you cool. have a gift. You have a gift. And, and, um, yeah. so yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to see you using that in all sorts of ways in life. And yeah, thanks for coming on the show. This was amazing. Um, and yeah, if you'd like, we'd love to have you back in a couple months and just kind of see where you're at, see what's new, see what challenges you're facing, see what's, what's went well and 
what you wish you would have not done and all kinds of stuff. So yeah, absolutely. I'd love to come back. This has been great. I really, really appreciate your time. Yeah, of course. Um, and they can follow you on TikTok and Instagram. Those are the best places. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. When TikTok likes me, it's a little mad at me right now, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> typical TikTok. TikTok, <laughs> and TikTok. All right. We'll keep building the Facebook, keep building YouTube, yeah. keep building all these channels and you'll be diversified and, and uh, you'll be just fine. Awesome. All right. Cool. Thank, Thank you so much. Caroline. All right. Take care. See ya. I, uh, I, I, uh, wanted to just mention, you know, as, as she was saying, um, she was saying, you know, whose voice is that? It reminded me of, uh, an analogy when I, when I was first getting started online, I did an exercise called dreamscaping and it was basically an exercise where, um, you would, you'd sit down and write down your dreams. But one of the, one of the instructions, uh, for this exercise was, you know, sort of imagine that your brain has been on a leash your whole life, right? So if you, if you think about your brain and there's a little, you know, leash and a collar on it, and you, it's not that you haven't been able to pull yourself in certain directions, but you know, whether it's society or, you know, uh, religion or your parents or your school system or whatever, it's sort of like you've you've almost been operating, or I've I should say I, I've almost been operating in sort of this mm, half-assed state of of you know operating within the bounds of you know all of those things control, and it might feel overwhelming to just say yeah just take off the leash. And what I found was helpful is um, is is. I just envisioned taking it off, taking off the leash just for a few hours or just for a day and, uh, and just play with the idea of, of, um, doing something totally different of exploring something totally different just for a day. And, and you can give yourself permission to try something or to do something just for a day and to explore it. And it, and it felt more helpful to me to, um, uh, then, then just being like, all right, quitting the nine to five today, start my online business, you know, and, and doing something totally rash or, or whatever. So, um, man, Caroline, I'm inspired. And, um, I have also, I just, I feel like I just got this, like, like, um, uh, I don't know, Hoosiers basketball movie pep talk or something. I need to go run or work out or something. I don't know what I got to do, but, um, anyway, um, Thank you, Caroline. You can follow her on TikTok at the underscore momtrepreneur. So it's M-O-M-T-R-E-P-R-E-N-E-U-R. And you can uh, follow her on Instagram as well. Uh, and it's the same, but it has an underscore at the end of it. So at the underscore momtrepreneur underscore. Uh Go give her a follow. And like I always say, and like I've been doing for weeks, you know, um, guilt her into going live. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, apply some peer pressure. No, I'm just kidding. But but seriously, do it. Um, because it would be a gift to TikTok. It would be a gift to Instagram or Facebook um, to have Caroline go live and share, um, you know, life and business tips and, and stuff with uh, her community. So, uh, you know, just a, you can apply some friendly pressure. Say, hey, it would be awesome if you went live. It would be so fun. And um, I've done this with a few people who I know then who have gone live multiple times, who I know then who have uh, exploded their lead flow, their income. And um, anyway, Caroline, if you never go live, we'll still be friends. Uh, it is uh, 1037. We're signing off. Everybody have a great rest of your Thursday. Tomorrow, tune into the show tomorrow because we are, if you didn't catch it at the beginning, we're live at our mastermind um, uh, little, what do you call this, mansion house thing. And uh, Dave's going to go live from the uh, from the mansion tomorrow. So tune in. Uh, we'll be live at 10 a.m. Eastern as always or approximately 10 a.m. Eastern. So anyway, see everybody. Have a great rest of your Thursday. Peace.